Hi, today my presentation topic is a vending machine. My name is Ishwar Patel and my section is ZAA and my course is APS 145 and my group is group 1. So yeah, today I would describe about something, some functions and some hardware software about a vending machine. So in this presentation, I show a workshop overview. In my workshop, firstly, I describe how vending machine works in a payment section. So basically vending machine does not take a cash payment. They accept only a Wi-Fi payment or a card payment. And in some, uh, and in vending machine, there are some machineries are available which would really helpful and the uh, op and operating system is very good because sometimes we can see in some machine the item was the item was totally finished so at that time when the machine knows that the stock was completely over they can alert it and they give us a reminder to restock it again and the machine and if machine does not work properly so at that time machine also gives some sign and give alertness that the machine is under maintenance and dramatically reduce the cost because the physical activity done with vending machine and it is restocking and now in this slide i would explain how it working so basically in my first first slide i discussed the previous features and functions of vending machine now I will discuss about some process and how vending machine works in a very different way. So there are two so there are two components in this device. First is the hardware at physical component and hardware component. But in sometimes we see in hardware component the software decide the main logic and how they produce procedure 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 on work process and give us and give very easy sign to handle it in hardware interface the hard works actually the hard work actually the hardware works in a vending machine is very easily because hardware means the payment process how we payment all this type are hardware in machine there are a hardware and in hard and with the help of hardware we can pay our we pay our we pay our money and we pay money in very different way like Wi-Fi with debit card, Visa card or else any payment method or to swipe any card. And the basic thing is that in a vending machine, a screen called the dimension, it is a LCD screen and which is 10 inch wide and 6 inch high and it is not a touch screen basically. In vending machine, we can also see a column or a row button section. So it actually work in a payment process. If you swipe a card and you enter, for example, particularly you buy a $60, $60 things. So when you swipe the card, just dial 60 and then pay. So this type of machine used for a pay. But now I would describe something about button keys and their function. The enter buttons add product and applies the quantity what the customer want. The correct button. With the correct button, we can use backspace button to correct any things. Particularly if firstly I think I want two cokes. But when I see it and I think it is no, I take more quality. So I backspace it again, cancel two and I take select five with the help of correct button and I buy a five coke. Cancel button, if in some time you take order and doing all the process, but if you think that now you will or cancel the order, so at that time you would use a cancel button. And afterward, this type of buttons, keys and functions, finally the payment button comes in the final stage where you can payment the process. Now I would describe about something data structure of the application of vending machine. Inventory in vending machine there are slot ID in which you can particularly slot the items. And then the other one is a SKU which identify the customer F which identify the customer selection of things. And the next one is a quantity. In a quantity, they show the product quantity in in how much quantity the product is available or not. 
in max quantity max quantity so which product has a maximum quantity and in minimum quantity it describe in which, which product has a minimum quantity in price you customer can see the in price customer can see the price per unit per piece per drinks and so on and in description they give us a product description which in product which ingredients are add or not it is good for our body it is good for our other health issues and all these type of according the products data structure for transaction in data structure for transaction we see a slot id in slot id vending machine recognize the slot id and product and they physical and they give us a customer sign where the slot i where the product is located in the vending machine or not quantity a quantity refers to requested quantity price price per unit give quantity of a product and in description in they give us a product description now i would describe a pseudo code of logic 2 which we will discuss in the walk through of logic in this presentation so this is a logic 2 overview in logic 2 workshop the selection product from the vending machine details in details we can see there is a column or a row button section in this part of the machine we can see how which product we can choose or buy and how to pay and how it's done so basically how it's done in order to give some specific selection of a product which we describe in our next slide in the column section there will be many different alphabets letters and all this type of things and in the row we will see the number so how much the arrangement enables the section of product to be much effective and specific for reference of this arrangement we can see the photo in slide 7 so yeah you can see i give a particular example that if i want a product which was in a seven number so at that time i select first c and then select seven and choose the gray product so actually it works with it actually it works in very different types of product if we buy a two number product so i choose two and then i select b and then i take light yellow product after selection of item vending machine asked us to operate the quantity of products particularly if i buy a one coke so first i select the coke and after selecting the coke vending machine give me a particular the quantity of a product which i want to select if i want a 5 then i want a 5 and then enter button after enter button the entry is made and if the entry is wrong the user can press the correct button and by pressing the correct button they can easily find mistake and change the mistake in a correct way after the quantity and after when the transaction will occur and the customer is available in the vending machine the user enter a transaction in the process and doing and while doing transaction vending machine gives us a option to do a in which method you can pay like a wifi method a apple pay or a app debit credit card and after selecting particular option customer would pay it very easily note in vending machine payment is done cashless because vending machine does not accept cash payment so yeah professor thank you for giving me a valuable time for reviewing my presentation hope you like it ishwar patel